Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a neon title introduction in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a neon title introduction in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, first I would like to write some text on top of the screen. So, go to Add Object, go to Text. Click on text and now click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this. And let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write, let's say neon. And let's center align this particular text by going to paragraph and then selecting center. And once again going to paragraph and then selecting center align. Now let's also change the font of this text from Arial to Montserrat Black and let's also increase the text size from 60 pixels to somewhere around let's say 300 pixels perfect now we need to resize our text box a little bit so that our entire text is clearly visible now let's center align our text box so first click on this option which is horizontal align center and then click on this option which is vertical align center now what we are going to do is we will decrease the opacity of our text so click on this text color option and right here you will find the opacity option which is currently set to 100 percent so decrease the opacity of the text from 100 to 0 now click on this contour color option and select the color white now increase the value inside the contour thickness option from 1 pixel to somewhere around 10 pixel. Perfect. Now next what we are going to do is we will add a rectangle object on top of the screen. And this rectangle will act as a background for our text. So go to add object, select rectangle and now click on OK. Now mark your rectangle on top of your text like this and in the timeline place the rectangle object below the text object like this. Now what we are going to do next is we will change the color inside our rectangle. So currently the color inside our rectangle is white so we will change this to black. So look inside the rectangle object settings and if you scroll down below right here you will find the color option present where currently white is selected so click on this three dots and inside the colors dialog select the color black and now click on ok perfect now look above and right here you will find the pen section inside which you will find another color option which contains the color black so what we are going to do is we will change this particular color from black to white. So click on this three dots once again and inside the colors dialog select the color white and now click on OK. Now right below this color option you will find the thickness option where currently the value is 1. So increase the value inside the thickness option from 1 to 15 and then press enter. And as you can see, we have successfully created a nice little border around our text. All right. Now next, what we are going to do is we will add a neon effect to both our text as well as to our border. So double click on the rectangle object. Go to video effects. Go to nature. Select shadow. And now click on OK. Now look inside the shadow effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside long shadow currently false is selected so that's fine. Inside light angle currently the value is 45 degree. So change this from 45 to 0. Inside shadow distance currently the value is 10 pixel. So change this from 10 to 0. Inside shadow color currently the color black is selected. So click on this three dots and inside the colors dialog you will see this HTML notation text box. 
So inside this HTML notation text box, you need to write this particular HTML notation FC3333. And now click on the OK button. Now inside shadow max size, currently the value is 10 pixel. So change this from 10 to 50. And inside intensity, currently the value is 0. So change this from 0 to 80 and then press enter. Perfect. Now what we are going to do next is we will click on this shadow effect. Press Ctrl C to copy it and we will go back to the main editing timeline. Now double click on the text object and press Ctrl V to paste. Perfect. Now we have added a neon effect to both our text as well as to our border. Now next what we are going to do is we will add little animation. So double click on the rectangle object and go to video effects, go to transitions, select mosaic and now click on OK. Now place the mosaic transition right at the start like this and look inside the mosaic settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside type currently spiral in is selected so change this from spiral in to spiral out. Inside directly currently false is selected so change this from false to true. Inside gradient length currently the value is 50% so change this from 50 to 0. Inside cell size currently in pixels is selected so change this from in pixels to in persons. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. Now let's go back to the main editing timeline once again. And now double click on the text object. And what we are going to do is we will add a glitch effect at the beginning. So go to video effects, go to special effects, select glitch and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the glitch effect is the entire duration of my text object in the timeline which is 10 seconds. So I would like to reduce it to 1 second. So inside the duration option you need to write 01.000 and then press enter. Now if you look inside the adjustment settings you will find this presets option present. So inside this presets option you need to select this particular option which is color loss. So select this option. Perfect. And one final thing which is left to be done is to add a fade in effect. So go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and now click on OK. And that's it. And so now if I just quickly go back to the main editing timeline and if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. So this is how you can create a neon title introduction in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.